Look at that. Look, reload. This is what I'm talking about. See how you still burning? So by the time he snap out of it, I can still control the situation. You follow me? That's what I'm talking about. What is going on, my good people? This is your man, Zidane Fado. You're watching RC Omega. Salute to all my division agents out there and to my division agents. I want to say thank you for your patience. I know I was putting out a lot of GTA content, and then I went missing for a little while. Uh, but I was, in, I was in the process of getting business in order so that I can properly run this channel. Right. So we're getting back to it. What we got before you right now, I got usual suspects. I got my Scorpio in my hand. As you can see, I got the glory days on my backpack. But this build was built for a, this is put together for an iron lung, right? The idea was to increase the status effect so that when you're reloading, you're still causing a decent amount of damage before you start firing again. Maybe even drop them before you finish reloading. And why are we doing that? Because the weak, the, the weak point for that iron lung is going to be the reload. And you're not going to get that burn until f you get through 50 percent of the magazine you follow me so your weak point is the reload because while you're reloading you will lose the talent completely so while i'm reloading i want to see a decent amount of damage happening and that was the idea with the iron lung and it came out pretty good but now what we'll do here is we're going to clear out this room i, I want to use my glow i want to use my scorpio so bad because it's absolutely phenomenal now when we put the scorpio on here instead of the iron lung what happens is you got 1.1 reload speed on the Scorpio. Now you're stacking the Septic Shock with the ongoing directive hollow point rounds. And listen, you're not even firing the Scorpio rounds. You're following the ongoing directive rounds and you still get the Septic Shock, which is absolutely phenomenal. I think it's far better than what the Iron Lung can do. But what we'll do real quick is we'll switch to the Iron Lung and let's check it out with the Iron Lung. All right, let's go. See, he's still burning. See that guy still burning? He's still burning. Now he's bleeding. That's what I'm talking about. That's the stack. You see what I'm saying? All of that was happening while I was reloading. Before I even started back firing the weapon. That's the idea. See, he's got a bleed. You see the bleed? It's still going. I'm not even firing. That's what I'm talking about. There's your iron lung. Reload. See the bleed still going. That's what I'm talking about. And we're using a jammer pulse to kind of balance things out. Destroy the robots. Also disorient the targets. You follow me? So that you can stick and move. The interesting thing is I end up using the Scorpio. But what kind of inspired the idea for this with the Iron Lung was indeed the Scorpio. Because of the level of control you can have with the Scorpio. See that bleed? 46. Reloading. I got a guy bleeding back here still. Somebody got the MP rounds. It's all good. See that? Bleed out. Let's go. Let's go. Reloading. I can get to the flank. Using our Scorpio to help. I mean, using our, our hive to keep control of the room. And keep people off my back. But you can stomp through them like that. You know what I mean? With this thing. And the cool thing is I don't even have uh, LMG highlighted at the specialization bench right now. And it's still hitting pretty good. I 
Yeah! Guess who's here? <laughs> I'm the under. Just call me the Undertaker. I'm here to take you under. Still got my unbreakable. I still got four armor plates. I don't see anything. We got a robot. I got seven seconds on that. Somebody running up on me with a shotgun right now. I don't know where he is. Okay, we got 17 seconds. That was a waste. Um, oh, he's repairing it right now. There it is. I'm not worried about your robot, because <laughs> your robot about to die. Ah, robot, bot, robot doggy. Bye-bye, robot doggy. Say bye-bye to your robot doggy. Reload. Seven seconds. Hive. Hive. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Ah. Ouch. Yo. And that is with the iron lung, we are done. Iron lung, we are six minutes in. Stick around uh, if you want to see this with the Scorpio. We about to switch to Scorpio right now and make a comparison. All right, starting back over. This is the same area now with the Scorpio. We'll clear out this area pretty quick. Um, another thing you could use is the blinder firefly for this. Which is, I mean, it does a pretty good job. But while the Jammer Pulse is a little bit shorter on the duration of the effect, um, I think it's a better choice simply because it can affect the robots too and you can stick and move, you know what I mean? Versus trying to aim that Firefly, you know. Look, we're at four seconds, three seconds, and we're almost ready to, to go again. You follow me? And you really don't have to expose yourself. Approaching. We're at 10 seconds. Eight seconds. You follow me? Almost ready for that for that po jammer post to come back. Now we just gonna we just gonna six tier this. I mean five tier this. Let the hive do the work. Ooh, nasty. Look, he, oh, he didn't make it. He didn't make it. <laughs> of course, now we're using our TDI. You know what I'm saying, man, man? Uh, we got a little bit of armor regen going on right now, just a tiny bit. But it's cool because you you know you're uh, controlling the area. Get him off that gun real quick before he starts firing again. You got a hive on him. And we got a robot now. See, this is why it's good to have that jammer pulse. Got 10 seconds. Who 
Who left? We got a robot. Not no more. Ah! More yes, sir. You follow me, and that is with the Scorpio. You follow me, so we're using, utilizing a little bit of everything. But with the iron lung, what I like is it's really kind of a focus on the iron lung and really taking advantage of what's happening while you're not firing, right? So you stacking that bleed on top of that burn. So all of that is happening while you, you know, reloading or switching, you know, changing your position, right? And then keeping, of course, that jammer pulse on on the ready. So if a robot pop out on you or somebody surrounds you, instead of using the Scorpio to back them off of you, you use the jammer post and get to cover real quick. You follow me? And then regroup. Throw the, the hive on them. You know, pretty dope stuff, right? So let's go into our build breakdown again. Remember, you got two options. You're either using the Scorpio or the Iron Lung. Um, of course, jammer post, you got 19.4 seconds. Right, your EMP uh, duration, your EMP effect duration, 6.9, as you can see there. Radius, 30 meters. Charge time, 2 seconds. Right? We got that going on, and we move right over to our, our hive here, 3.2 on a refill speed. Damage is 587K, but it's not about that. It's not about the level of, of your, your, your skill damage. It's about the status effect that we apply to the targets. And, of course, you got a bleed of 52 K, right and your bleed duration is going to be almost 11 seconds right um pretty good stuff i'm telling you that hive hits like a ton of bricks and it is a five tier this time typically what i'll do is instead of going to a million with the hive this time we take the hive let's scale it up five tier because typically our five tier when i run it we scale it up to 60 six you know six five you can see that 651k we can see our bleeds 10 8 we still have the bleed damage at 52, right? That's because that's our status effect level, right? So we're not, again, we're not worried about the skill damage level, but we can reduce our refill speed a little bit, take it down to three seconds if we put the TDI in our hand while using the hive, right? And you saw, you can, I mean, you could just clear an area out real smooth with that hive hitting that way it is. Let's look at how we got our status effect. All right, we got status effect here at 9.5, but with that 9.5, Keep in mind, you got 15 up here, right? So take that five, add that to that 9.5 and give yourself, you know, a solid 10 up top and 10. You, you follow me? So 20, you, you feel me? You you feel me. Now we go right here, we got a 10 again. Down here, we got another 10. Over here, we got that one armor regen that I was talking about. It's a little bit of armor regen. Uh, and then you got another 10 right here. Of course, Ninja Backpack cannot hold a status effect, but we put, and we wanted to put some skill haste in there because we're using the jammer pulse, right? So we got 12 right there. We got, uh, 11.5 on our skill haste here. And then another 11.5, the same ones I've been having since forever. I wish I can get some more 12s to drop, but I just haven't had any luck with that. Um, our armor is only at 125k. Of course, we can optimize that up. No big deal, but we're still sitting at a solid 1.5. I'm not complaining. 1.5 Unbreakable is a tank, 3 million on the armor, right? So, And you're going to be running in, running all over the place. So you definitely want to have a decent amount of armor when you're doing that, right? And, of course, we can still increase that armor by a significant amount. Um, so, you know, I'm good. No complaints here with that. Um, secondary is open for you. Of course, I'll put the Glory Days there. You can go whatever you want to. But your primary, you're choosing between the Scorpio and, of course, the Iron Lung. Let's look at the talent on the Iron Lung if you're unfamiliar when I was talking about that 50% of the clip. You follow me? So again, you cause that burn, that burn. Now, if you shoot a target that is status effect, it has a status effect that is ongoing directive, right? So rules of engagement will trigger and that will give you hollow point rounds once you drop a target. Now, when you fire your iron lung, you're not firing iron lung bullets. You're firing, ongoing, you're far, you're firing rules of engagement bullets from your ongoing directive. You follow me? So that's the, that's the fix for Iron Lung. Um, I, I'm sorry, it took me a while to really figure it out, but I put the gun down. I, I had no interest in it. But as we saw, it'll perform well. It'll do a decent job. So listen, with all that said, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for watching. Sorry for the long video, but again, I will timestamp everything so you know where to go to get straight to where you want to get to, right? So we looked at two different variants, of course. Again, not to repeat myself, but, you know, Scorpio and Iron Lung. Which one do you think is the best? I'm going to lean in the direction of the Scorpio, of course, but the Iron Lung is, it was fun.
That, that I think it was impressive, and honestly, it might have been quicker. I don't know. But it was definitely doing a great job out there. So, I don't know. Not too bad for the Iron Lung. Not too bad. I I, I, I rated it originally. I was giving the Iron Lung like a maybe a 3 out of 10. But with this setup, I, I can bump it up to about a, maybe a good solid 6. I can give it a solid 6. I don't think it. I think that the Iron Lung is great, but I think that the still the best LMG is going to be between the Dare and, of course, the Blue Screen. I think they're still the best, you know, but... Not bad. I'm going to say not bad. Not bad for the Iron Lung. So listen, with all of that said, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. We out of here. Peace.